What's up? Facebook Live. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. I uh, have a quick little like 15, 17 minute break uh, before my next core four accountability call. And I am running to a gas station to grab some nuts. <laughs> uh, I thought that title might catch some people's attention. What I wanted to talk about real quick though is those core four accountability calls and so we have about uh, 40 or so of our uh, insurance agents that signed up to be held accountable uh, to core four uh, which I'll go through here in a second um, what's up Jess and what that means is we have a monthly accountability call which it's an hour long we do it on uh, zoom and I sit down with each of those 40 people and I ask them how they're doing in each area. So we split your life up into four areas, uh, four P's. Power is your body, passion, relationships, uh, purpose is your mind, and production is your business. And there's three goals uh, that we set together for each of those areas. And then we just basically live our life. What's up? Who's that? I can't even see. Randy, what's up, man? Um, that is now the structure that we live our lives. And uh, it's an incredibly simple tool. Um, but man, it's been super powerful for me. Um, and the results that I'm seeing in, these, in these, this first group of, of 40 uh, individuals that are doing this with me, um, it's been interesting to see their results just in the first 30 days. Uh, these conversations that we're having, again, it's on Zoom, uh, about an hour long, where I'm going through and it's literally, hey, uh, when we get to passion, so how have your date nights been um, every Saturday uh, with your wife? Oh, well, man, uh, you know, uh, didn't do it last Sunday or last Saturday. Didn't do, the, didn't do the Saturday before, but we did the first two and I'm like, well, okay, cool. Like, well, you know, what happened uh, last Saturday and the, the Saturday before that, that made it to where you couldn't do it. Well, you know, this um, couldn't get a babysitter. Cool. Awesome. Like, I get that. Like, that, may, you know, that's a legitimate reason. Uh, but hey, here's what we'll do. Let's get on uh, line right now. Like, I'll Google um, care.com or, or find a babysitter in your area. And let's lock down, like, get you like a, a second or third babysitter that you've got in your uh, in your arsenal there, so that this doesn't happen again, right? Like if that's if that was the obstacle from you going on the date with your wife last Saturday, which we said was non-negotiable, then let's put a structure in place to make that not not happen. Like that's accountability, right? And then, uh, hey man, so we got on here for your power with your body, uh, no carbs and, and no sugar. How's that going? Oh God, it's just I I hung in there for like four or five days, and then man. I went to this uh, party and they had all this food and man, next thing you know, I'm right back to where I was. And it's like, okay, cool. Like, so, so what, what was it? Like what happened? Like what triggered you to have that first carb and sugar filled meal? And then what happened after that? And just kind of working through this stuff with people. And then at the end of each of these calls, what I've been doing is, is asking them like, Hey, all right, we've gone through all the, all the points. Uh, we're good to go on that. Um, what, what are some highs and lows? Tell me some highs and lows. This is something I learned from Jonathan Parker, uh, who talks about the art of conversation. What are some highs and lows over the last month? Tell me about some of the highs and lows and, uh, giving people the opportunity to just kind of open up and, um, some take it the personal route, some take it the you know business route. Um, either way, like I'm not looking for a particular, um, response. I uh, just wanted to kind of gauge kind of where they're at. And these conversations have been awesome. I've been extremely encouraged by them. And it's so fun seeing people grow, watching people grow, and uh, the ripple effect that that has. Uh, for example, a guy um, yesterday that I was on one of the calls with, he's like, man, you know, I've been reconnecting with some old friends that I hadn't talked to in a while. And uh, I called this guy that we used to be pretty close and man, he was super successful and just always had uh, a lot of cool stuff going on with his business. And um, when I talked to him, man, he was going through a tough time um, and his business wasn't doing well. He was having some struggles. And uh, so we just kind of talked and 
and he's and he told him about uh, core four and about this accountability that we're doing and um, told him about how he was working out now and this and that and so the guy the next morning at like seven o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning sends this guy a picture of himself on the treadmill he's like hey man your conversation yesterday really uh, resonated with me and I'm, I'm back in the gym I went and got some workout clothes last night and I'm in here at six or seven o'clock in the morning he's been sending him a picture every single day uh, for like the last week of him in the morning on the treadmill and you know, imagine the ripple effect that will happen when that guy, his life gets back on track and then he shares it with someone and then they share it with someone and then they share it with someone. You just have no idea uh, how much power we, we really have. Um, and when we're put in structures where we're held accountable for the things that we want to implement, that we know is the best thing for us, but we understand through self-awareness that we have weaknesses and we have areas that, um, that we tend to struggle with. And so can we put a structure in place to say, I know I'm not good at this. I know I am lazy when it comes to this area. I get it. I can try to fix it all I want, but that's, that's my thing. That's my, that's my struggle. Well, what structure can I put in place so that I avoid those struggles? Is it delegating it to someone else? Is it tying some type of like gamification, like making it to where it's like a competition or challenge just to get through that thing? Um, what is it? And then who could hold me accountable for that? Is it a business partner? Is it a boss? Is it a spouse? Is it a friend? Or is it a coach that you have to hire? Because true accountability is hard to find in someone that's not um, financially invested in that process. Uh, because it's, it's a lot of effort and energy. And these conversations that I'm having with people, it's not easy to have nine of them. Um, you know, yesterday, nine one hour conversations on this stuff. Um, but man, it's, it's important. It's powerful and it's, uh, making a big impact. So just wanted to, to drop, kind of drop that on you guys. Um, this Wednesday, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we got a lot of stuff, uh, in the, in the cooker, um, a potential, potential new, director of videographer for the Daily Bread vlog. Um, we'll finalize that hopefully today, um, but someone I'm super excited about. Uh, it's gonna be hard. He's got some big shoes to fill uh, with TJ um, transitioning out, but man, uh, I'm excited to get that, that process started. And uh, man, appreciate each and every one of you. I'm gonna go in this gas station, get some nuts. Bread.